good morning my students i am shaika i am your new, new maths teacher today we are discussing about the topic is place values place values my dear students open your textbook and observe the observe get started is there here the largest my dear students what is the largest three digit number is yes. what is that 990 nine is the largest three digit number now we add this three digit number now we add plus one to this number what will happen now we add the plus one to this number i think you already know the how to add the numbers here 9 plus 1 10 right ones place here and tens place taking carry to the next number here also same ones ones place here and here tens place carry to the next number and here also 10 now what happened four digit number is formed what is that thousand Thousand is the smallest to four is it number? Smallest to four is it number? Here small largest to three is it number? Now. What is the largest four digit number? Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety. Nine is the largest four digit number. So, my dear students, in these some fill the blanks are there. So, my dear students, students. These are the fill fill in the blanks. First one, four thousand six hundred eighty nine is written in figures. So, my dear students, what is the figural form of four thousand six hundred and eighty nine? Four thousand six hundred and eighty nine. Here, four thousand. Six hundred eighty-nine. Four thousand six hundred eighty-nine. This is the figural form of this. Four thousand six hundred eighty-nine. Now, second question. The place value of eight in one thousand. Eight hundred and seventy-six is. What is the place value of eight in this number? Now we apply the place values here. Ones place here, tens place here, hundred place here, thousand place. So. Where is the eight? Eight is in hundreds place. So what is the place value? I am asking about the place value, not place. The place value is eight hundred. Now third question. The place value of zero is three thousand forty-two. Is What is the place value of zero in this number? Zero. Here, yeah, I think zero because zero is zero. There is no value to be zero. Now, for my students, here fourth question: three thousand plus four hundred. Plus two tens 
plus six ones. My students write in figures.
this number from right side. Clear? Zero is in which place? Ones place. Which place? Ones place. Next zero in which place? Tens place. Next zero, hundred place. Yeah, another zero is in thousand place. Thousand place. So my dear students, here extra fifth place. What is the name of the fifth place? The name of the fifth place is ten. Thousand. Ten thousand. What is the name of the fifth place? Ten thousand. Now we write in extended form of. Now we write extended form in words. Here ten thousand. One. Ten thousand zero thousand plus zero hundreds zero tens. Zero ones. This is the extended form in words. Ten one ten thousand zero thousand zero hundred zero tens zero ones. Now we write in extended form. In figures, we write in figures one ten thousand. Now place zero thousand zero zero hundred zero zero tens zero zero ones zero. Now we write one zero. Zero, zero, zero. So, what is the name of this number? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. My dear students, this is the very difficult process to find the name and write the numbers and read the numbers in. This is very difficult process for large numbers. So here, here one method is there. Divide the place value chart into periods. Divide the place value chart into periods. Let's see how to divide the place chart, place value chart. Now, I will draw the place chart. Hey students, this is the place value chart. Now I divide the place values into periods. Here three place values, and here two place values. These three place values have a name. Ones, ones, period. Here thousand. Period. Once period has a three place values, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousand period has a two place values, thousand and ten thousand. Hmm. Now we apply the place values six. Is in ones place right here. 
3 tens place right here 2 is in hundreds place right here 8 is in thousand place right here 9 is in 10,000 place right here now now we divide these place values into periods now we write the now we rewrite the this number with using comma or short gap between periods now i will write rewrite this number 98236 or mm. or 28,236. There is the small gap between these numbers. Now, my, my dear students, let's consider one more example. Now, we apply the periods with using comma. Here, three place values, three digits and here two digits. In between, we using comma or place, shortest place, leave the shortest place. 72, comma, 5, 3, 6. Now, we find the name. Now apply the place values. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousand, ten, thousand. Hmm. My students, zero means ones place, t means tens place, h means hundred place, t means thousand place, t TH means 10,000 place. So, now only find the name these three place values. Three digits. What is the number name? 530. Six. Five hundred and thirty-six. Now find the name of these two numbers, two digits. Here thousand, here ten thousand. So seventy two thousand. 72,000. 72,000. Now, my dear students, combine these separate names. 72,500. Thirty-six. What is the name of this number? Seventy-two thousand five hundred and thirty-six. Thirty-six. 